Thank you. Um, Rick, I'm uh, Nag Govindaraju. Let me first introduce the team uh, responsible for Project Gustav. I'm Bill. And, uh, I'm Nelson. Um, and these guys have been working very hard on building the algorithms behind Project Gustav. Project Gustav is a realistic digital painting experience which shows how when you combine the power of natural user interfaces and the processing power of today's PCs, you can create a very natural and rich painting experience. So what do I mean by natural painting experience? So in a real world, uh, depending upon how you hold this brush, how you uh, mix the colors on the palette and load the colors onto the brush, and how the brush deforms when it comes in contact with the canvas. So all of these things um, are very natural ways in which people interact with the canvas in a painting system. Now, um, when a stroke is formed, there are several aspects uh, which uh, happen underneath. For instance, um, how the paint particles get pushed around when they come in contact with the brush bristles, or how the brush bristles deform when they come in contact with the fibers of the canvas structure. Now, thanks to the processing capabilities of today's PCs, we are able to develop efficient algorithms, which can simulate most aspects of these uh, complex phenomena in a plausible manner in real time. Now, when you combine the simulation of the real world with the natural user interfaces, it provides a very immersive painting experience. Now, um, let, let me introduce Nick uh, Kumada, Kamuda, yeah, uh, who's going to demonstrate uh, the rest of the system. So, I'm a, I'm a product designer across the company in uh, e and but I have met these guys a little while ago and they invited me to come and kind of play with all their hard work. Um, I was a painter before I joined Microsoft and I'll probably keep painting after I stop working for Microsoft. But um, basically everything that Naga was saying <coughs> amounts, to, amounts to what is probably, I mean, from, from my perspective, the most rewarding, like visceral feeling paint, digital paint, digital mark making that I've used in my life. And I do a lot of Photoshop, I do a lot of all that kind of stuff, but uh, but this is completely different. They've done a lot of work into the the brush deformation that Naga was talking about, so you get like these crazy strokes, and, um, and then into the color blending, which I'll show you now as I start to, start to even out this mess that I made on the canvas. So you just get these really, really, really... and strokes that uh, turn into something that's like really, really pretty convincing oil. And it's, oil is complicated, so this, <laughs> this is pretty awesome because this simplifies things a lot. I heard the guys next door were talking about Nui and this kind of stuff, and that's like, that's definitely true. It's like the, the degree of control and finesse that they've put in, if I scale up here, start to make marks on this pair, you can see how the brush head is the brush head is changing to get just that right stroke nuance and stuff like that. The degree of sensitivity that they put into this is just like it's kind of the closest thing to just mapping one to one, you know, what's going on in my head to what comes out on the screen. It's, it's pretty sweet. So, this, oh yeah. And then this is my other favorite part is getting right in there. Check out the brush detail. Getting right in there, and just messing it all up. Huh. So, bring this stuff out. You get you get it mixing, blending in with the charcoal. 